Psalm 91 says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings. Shall you trust? His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge. Yes. Yes. Even the most high, your habitation. Thank you. There shall no evil befall thee, neither yes. shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Yes. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample yes. under feet. Yes. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. Let us receive Elder Bill directly following Brother Greg will come up and lead us in praise and worship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I thank you this day. I thank you for another day you allowed me to see, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, because somebody didn't wake up this morning, Lord God. But you let us wake up, Lord, that we can come, Lord. We can come with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. That we can worship yes. you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. So we had a thousand times yes, we couldn't thank you enough, Lord God. We thank you for protecting us, oh God. We thank you for watching over our children, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for watching over this nation, oh God. Although, oh God, this nation has forsaken you, Lord God. But we thank you for your divine providence, your yes, divine yes, provision, yes, Lord God. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you, Lord, for healing, oh God, delivering, yes, yes. setting free, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We bless your name this day, Lord God. Oh God, we ask that you sanctify the sanctuary, Lord God. Fill it, Lord God. Let the angelic host, oh God, minister, Lord, and songs, oh God, as we worship you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. God, we thank you, Lord God. Oh God, we praise your name, Lord, this day, Lord God. We bless the speaker of the hour, Lord God. We ask, oh God, that you, oh God, bless her, bless her, anoint her, Lord God. Give a word, oh God. A word in due season, Lord God. Oh God, we ask that yokes be broken. Lives will be set free, Lord God. Oh God, that you minister across the airways, Lord God. Let some word be said, Lord God, and touch the hearts of God and men. Women, boys, and girls, Lord God. Yes, we yes. pray for our young people, oh yes, God, Lord. in this city of Baltimore, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. in the nations, oh God, yes, in the Lord. states of this nation, yes, oh God, Lord. the inner yes, cities, Lord, Lord. God. Yes, Lord. Oh God, you know what they need, yes, oh God. Lord. Even before we ask, Lord God, we yes, ask, oh God, glory, that, glory, glory. that churches, Lord God, yes, Lord. would be in unity and one accord, Lord God, one, one. that they would reach out to the young people, Lord yes. God. Oh yeah, God, we yeah. need a move, oh God, out of the yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah. That all, that's all it's going to take, Lord God. A move of your spirit, Lord God. That's what we're going to do to set this thing right, Lord yeah. God. In this day and age, we need another move, Lord God. We need another Zuzu, Lord God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We bless your name, Lord, this day. We honor you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, this day. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. I praise your name, Lord God. When I look back on my life, Lord God, you've been faithful. You've been so faithful, Lord God. You've been so faithful, Lord God. When I look to see the circumstances, Lord, that I could have encountered, Lord God, but you were there. The angels, Lord God, prayers were prayed for me. Yes, Lord. We are so grateful, Lord God. 
even as they go astray, Lord, sometimes, God, we still pray, lift them up in prayer, Lord. We pray for them, Lord God. We pray, oh God, that the Holy Spirit would just ignite them, Lord God. Ignite them in the inner man, Lord God. So they realize, Lord God, to earn their ways, Lord God. Bring them back, Lord. Bring them back to the fold, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord. Yes, we bless Lord. your name. Yes, we bless your name, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Every praise to our God, every one of worship, every one of glory, every praise, every praise to our God. Sing it again, thank you, Rita. Come on. Every praise to our God, every one of worship, every one of glory, every praise. Come on, come on, come on. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is one of us. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is in this place. 
Come and worship the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come and worship the Lord is in this place. Come on, worship, come on. The Lord is in this place. Come on, bless God. Come on, the Lord is here. Victory because 
because of the blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 At this time, we're going to serve communion. Thank you, God. So if uh, you're in your seats and you don't have one, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is something we do on the first of the month to commemorate the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as well as his resurrection. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 26 through 33 read, For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. Uh But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. Paul here is explaining that we should not take the communion um, lightly, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it should be done reverently. Yes, yes. So at this time, we're going to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your goodness, grace, mercy, and truth. Lord God, if there's anything that we've done that is uh, that has offended your Holy Spirit, if there's anything we've done, Lord God, if our intentions are not pure, Father, we pray right now that you would purify us all right now. Cleanse us. Forgive us. Lord God. We do this with a whole heart to commemorate what you did on the cross in Jesus name therefore my brethren when you come together to eat wait for one another but if anyone is hungry let him eat at home lest you come together for judgment and the rest I will set in order when I come verse 23 reads for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This time we're going to eat the bread together. And every bite represents every whip, Every beating that he took, the nails driven in, the broken body of our Lord. In the same manner as he also took the the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink it together.
Welcome everyone to Psalm 91 Ministry. Amen. 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 We also we also want to welcome our online audience. Yes, Thank yes. you so much Thank for, you joining for joining us. us. Yes. Amen. So um, we have a couple announcements. Going into our announcements for the week. Firstly. Amen. So Monday through Friday, we have our noonday prayer call. It's a time for us to come together collectively as a body of believers coming and connecting our faith and our, our thoughts, our minds, and to be able to get on one accord and to just go to the Father. Amen. Amen. It's been truly a good, good thing just coming together to refocus for the day. Amen. And on Wednesday, midweek, we have our midweek Bible study. We have our midweek Bible study that takes place at 7.30. Doors open at 7.15 right here at the Next Act Cinema. As well as online. As well as online. Amen. 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 We stream online. Um, and um, we are in a series. We're um, going through the, the book of... There we go. <laughs> We're going through the, the book of Acts, which is talks about the birth of the church. So if you want to understand the, the, the how the church was birthed and formed and things... Um, then you want to join us for that Bible study. It's a really, really dynamic teaching, uh, if I may say so myself. And today is First Sunday, so First yes. Sunday we do communion, but we also visit Autumn Lakes Nursing Home. We serve communion there. We fellowship with the the uh, the, residents. the residents there, and they always. They always are so gracious and grateful, yeah, yeah. and uh, and so we want to um, invite anyone who wants to tag along. They can come on. We right after we set up, tag we along. tag along. There we go. <laughs> what did I say? I said come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they understand. Amen. Um, and, and then after we break down. After we break down. So. Um, and then on July 8th, we want to really put this yeah. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Amen. Truly, truly. <laughs> Spiritual gifts workshop. Yes. Right? Now, this is this is going to be an all-day event. It's from 9.30 um, a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and registration is required. There's a link on the website. If you go to the website, our website is Psalm91Ministries.church. Amen. Uh, and there is a cost associated because we're going to be feeding folks and we got to pay for the the place, okay. Yeah, um, so there is a uh, a early bird special yes. for forty five dollars. All right, and he said that's the early bird. Yes, that's the early bird special. <laughs> Listen, um, we're bringing in uh, prophetess Demita Robinson um, to facilitate this workshop, and yes. I'm telling you, it's going to be phenomenal. If you've ever been in a situation where you say, you know. Man, I hear big people talking about spiritual gifts all the time. I want to know what my spiritual gift is, or I want to know how to tap into other spiritual gifts. Yes, right? Yes. She's she listen, she's been doing this for a few decades now, okay? Mm -hmm. And she is she has totally created and carved out this 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 workshop and you want to be in attendance. Yes. So yes. um I, I'm suggesting because we have a limited number of seats. Yes. And, and that's gonna be intentional, right? Yeah. So um Light breakfast and lunch will be served. So you're going to eat. You don't have to go nowhere. You can go there and uh, so yeah, yeah. early special ends. Uh, early special ends. Thank you. June 17th. So listen, please register, register right away. As soon as we hit that number, we're going to cut off registration. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So uh, with that being said, do you have anything else? I believe that's it. Elder, you got anything else? Okay. <laughs> Amen. You're getting ready for something else. <laughs> yeah. All right. So listen, Amen. this is our time to be a blessing, right? This yes. is our, our time to be a blessing um, and to sow a seed into God's kingdom. Yeah. Right? And uh, there's a scripture. This is Luke 6. I don't know why I don't have the scripture up there, but Luke 6, 38 says, Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you that you use, it will be measured back to, to you. And that's an analogy referring to how they would sift wheat. Right? They had to throw it up, press it down, shake it together, right? And then it would it would it would multiply. So uh, we have many different ways in which to give. We have in person giving. You got the basket right there. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hand. And you can just deposit that right there at the end of service. You can get up while we're right now, but you can do it at the end of service. Check. Checks can be made payable to 
Psalm 91 Ministry. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, yes, amen. Does. <laughs> and uh, our cash app, for those that, um, that prefer to use electronic giving, we have cash app, so you can use the cash tag dollar sign Psalm 91 Ministries. There's a link for the PayPal, which goes directly to our website. And then if, for those that prefer to use Zelle, and it is cheaper to the church if you use Zelle, just saying. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, you can just put in pastorj.psalm91ministries at gmail. Dot com. Amen. 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 So uh, at this time, Lana, look, she tells me, Daddy, I'm doing the offering. <laughs> I don't have a choice anymore. All right. Here you go. So if we could all uh, stand to our feet one more again as we go into our offering. Our offer for you. O oh, Father in heaven, you have told us that we will be of the soul. This is true not only in our character, but in our conduct. We want to trust you today with our offering, knowing that you are trustworthy to use it for your kingdom and to continue in your vision and story. For the word says, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let's let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or on necessity, for God loves a true forgiver. Help us to be true forgivers today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 At this time, okay, at, at this time, I'm going to bring up. Amen. Um, we're going to bring up the speaker of the hour. Amen. Uh, an amazing woman with a prophetic voice yes. um, and a word in her belly. Yes. And yes. I thank God for putting her in my life yes. via my wife. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, but such an anointed vessel of God. Yes. You know, yes. you know, um, so without any ado... Elder Aretha. Amen. Say that one minute, brother. Say it one minute. Hallelujah. To God be the glory yes. for the things he always yes. does. Amen. I bless him this morning because he's a good God. Yes, he is. He's a great God. Yes, he's a magnificent God. Yes, he Hallelujah. Is. Praise God. Thank I thank God for Pastor you. John and Lady Kim and all the Relatives are here this morning, my Amen. grandchildren, my grandchild, my daughters and everything. And the Lord has given me a word, and this word has been really in my spirit for the last couple of months, and I've just been pushing it and pushing it, and finally, Papa John, I mean, Pastor John said to me, it's your time to minister. <laughs> okay, Lord, all right, I'll, I'll say yes. I want to say yes to the yeah, Lord in everything yeah, I do, yeah. everything I say. We say yeah, yes to the Lord. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a song that always... And we've sang it before as a patriotic song, but also churches sing it. And it is the battle hymn of Republic. Yes. And the words, we put up there, we put it up there. We can just say the words, okay? It's so powerful. It's so powerful. The one verse we have here is in the beauty. Y'all come on, say it together. In the beauty. Uh-huh. On the Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As he died to make men holy, come on, say it. Let us die to make men free while God is marching on. Glory, oh. glory. Okay, well, let's sing that. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, 
this particular song was written by a woman, the last name was Hall, and it was on the Civil War. Wow. But this is so significant because it says, glory, yes. praises, yes. hallelujah, because God's truth is marching on. Yes. If ever we need God's truth, is today. That's unstoppable. Unmovable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to speak the truth. Hallelujah. Eternal truth. Eternal truth. And as I begin to prepare for this message, I thought about two icons, and that is the Statue of Liberty and Lady Justice. Okay? And look at both of these. Uh, it, it's up here. The Statue of Liberty has a torch that represents light. Yes. But I want to break down on Lady Justice, okay? Lady Justice has a book. Uh -huh. She has a sword. Hallelujah. That includes, it runs after the punishment against punishment, okay? Uh -huh. To cut it. What do we say about the word of God? The two-edged sword. Yes. Person and divide asunder. Yes. She has a scale uh -huh. right, to measure out truth and untruth. Yes. And guess what? I never knew this. She has a snake wow. underneath wow. her foot. Oh, hallelujah. The wow, yeah. Bible tells us we're going to bruise his head. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he'll bruise down here. Jesus. A snake. Wow. All of this represented wow. of the word of God. I never knew it, y'all. Wow. I was getting so excited. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is good. Hallelujah. That's right. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If ever we need to speak the truth, it's now. Yes. Yeah. You know what? If I want to give a title to this message, is, is Jesus your truth? Yeah. Look at somebody say, is Jesus your truth? Is Jesus your truth? Or say to somebody else, is Jesus your, Jesus is your Jesus truth? Your truth. Jesus. And we're living in a time where we're watching truth being squelched down. Yes. Yes. It's being buried. Yes. Frivolized. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Rejected. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's being attacked. Yes. But guess what? God says here again in the scripture, it says his truth is marching on. Yes. When something's marching, it's moving. It's yes. moving. It's yes. moving. Hallelujah. Yes. It's in the social media. It's in entertainment. It's being attacked. Confucius all over it. But God's truth is marching on. Yes, it is. The Bible says from everlasting to everlasting, his truth is beyond. What is truth, y'all? What is truth? I'm going to give you a definition. Thank you, uh, Pastor Evans, for giving me these things today. Okay? I'm going to give all the credit for him today. Some of the credit. Absolute standard by which reality is measured. Absolute standard. By which reality is measured. Mm -hmm. Truth is what God said is true, right? Yeah, right? Because He's truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. Yeah. When you or anybody else you know agree or disagree with God, you're all wrong. If you're disagreeing with God, you're wrong. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, "Let God be true, and yeah. every man every be a liar. Every, every man be a liar." Hallelujah. You know what? We were coming up and um, we went to school. I'm older than some of you all, okay? But guess what happened? This was what's in, was on, and if you pull this up, that'd be good. This was in school. Yes, yes. This was what was in school. Amen. 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 A Bible. Yes. When they do inauguration, they what do? They put the hand on a Bible. If you go to court, you do what? You put your hand on or the Bible. Yeah. Because this is truth. Uh -huh. Let God arise. And let an enemy be scattered. Yeah. Hallelujah. If ever we need to go back and embrace the truth is now. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. What God says is a perfect source. It's a perfect source. And um, I want to pull up a scripture today. All right. And John 18, 36. And I um, just want to paint a picture of what's happening in this particular chapter. Jesus has been arrested and he's in front of Pilate. Now Peter, okay, he knew the truth. He knew that Jesus had all the miracles and everything, but he decided, you know what? I'm gonna be caught up with this man's whole truth. I'm alive today, okay? And that's what he did. Uh -huh. He lied three times. Three times he uh -huh. lied. Uh -huh. Let's go to the word of God. John 13. I'm sorry, John 18, verses 3, 36 and 38 in IV. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Uh -huh. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest. They were upset. But the Jewish leaders, but now my kingdom is not from another place. He came down from heaven to earth to us. And then he says, Paul said to him, 
You are a king. Ha. And Jesus said, you say that I'm a king. In fact, the reason I was born, I came. I got notes here. I came into the world to testify of the truth. Everybody say testify of the truth. Everyone on the side of the truth listens to me. Then again, everyone who's on the side of the truth listens to me. That's what he says. 38th verse. What is truth? Retorted Pilate. Snotty. With this, he went out again to the Jewish gather there and said, I find no base for a charge against him. Jesus was arrested, but guess what? This was the truth. And everybody who was on Jesus' side says the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus gave a testimony. He says, I am the truth. I've come down. And he says, if you know it, if you know it, you just, I'm saying it to you. I am the truth. Now, Tony ever said this was beautiful. You have to write this one down. Yo, this is, this is powerful. This is a testimony. Hallelujah. How many have testified about the goodness of the Lord? Amen. Well, Jesus said, I'm testifying Amen. today. Amen. Jesus says, not Jesus, but it says here, when you know everything about everything, you can't be wrong. When you know the past, the present, the future, you can't be wrong. When you know it, made it, and destroyed it, and sustained it, it all, and in it all, you can't be wrong. That's Jesus' truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Truth comes from a perfect source. In Psalm 119, 106, it says, the essence of your word is true. I want to use this as an example here. I got my scale. All right, my scale. I mean, you all stand on this sometimes? Sometimes you want to jump off of it, don't you? <laughs> but guess what? If you stand on this scale, it's facts behind it, okay? It's facts, all right? It's facts. Hey, no, if I stand on here, I know what my weight is, all right? If I put my granddaughter in here, it's not going to be the same, all right? It's going to be different, all right? So that's a fact that her weight is going to be different from mine. We got to balance the truth out. We got to balance the truth out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Truth is not by your own feelings. Uh huh. That's right. You can't go by your feelings. That's all right. right. Today right. you might feel like I just want to slap that person that God said, no, forgive them. That's right. That's right. You can't go by your intellect. The no. Bible says no. your thoughts uh-huh. and my thoughts are different. Yes. Right. They're different. Mm. You can't take the standard of your morals because people are throwing morals one day and facing that day. I'm I was thinking, I was, I was coming down the road, I said, God, Morals are really out. Some people are way out there yeah. to the point where people who gone to the um get married yeah. and you say your vows and everything. Yeah. And now people say, you know what? Let's switch up for the weekend. Wow. They're married. Yeah. You made a commitment, all right? Your morals are just going on. Out. But yeah. guess what? God has absolute standards. Yeah. Yeah. There's a standard yeah. that we have to stand by. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I believe that God says he doesn't change. He says today, yesterday, forevermore. Yes. A lot of people say because the culture has changed, we need to go with the culture. Mm-hmm. Nope. We need to do what we want to feel like we want to do, okay? Nope. But guess what? When we walk away from God's absolute standard, who is the truth, that's when we get in trouble. Mm-hmm. The Bible tells that every nation that forgets God shall be turned to hell. When we start turning to our ways mm-hmm. and our direction and our thoughts and our feelings, Guess what? We get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It says, you know, my, my lesson here says, why can't you be your own truth? People say, I did it, and I'm, I'm proud about it. You can't be your own truth because you're limited. Right. I'm limited. Right. You are limited. Yes. Okay. Yes. And plus, Satan began to tell people what to do, how yes. to do it, because he's he's talking to us. Yes. Guess what? We, you can't. The Bible says, cast down every evil imagination and yes. thought and bring it into captivity yes. unto the obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Don't allow the enemy to tell you something that is wrong. That's right. Yes. Right. That's right. What's wrong? Okay. That's right. The secular. Is real all over the place. And the, the, the people are just doing anything they want to do. That's why we can't use our That's right. place of, 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 of our standards, our standards, okay? Amen. And the world is full of deceit. I had a, a, a thing here who says, it's deceit all over the place. Oh. All over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. on TV shows, it's oh. on, all right? Yeah. Sometimes we look at things and say, how in the world people are doing these things? Because you know what? 
the enemy has trapped them. Yeah. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 says, the God of this age has blinded. Uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. They have blinded unbelievers so they cannot yes. see the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. My Blindness God. is all over the place. Yes. But guess what? Yes. God's truth is marching on. Yes. Yes. Hey, hallelujah. Yes. God's yes. truth is marching yes. on. Yes. I don't care how you look at it, yes. how you try to put it aside, God's truth is marching yes. on. Yes. I want to go to Romans 1. Hallelujah. And before I do that, I want to do a demonstration. I know my daughters, I'm grateful up here. Come up, Kimberly, all right? What do you, how many ever heard the, um, the show Truth? Yes, come on now, okay. <laughs> to tell the truth. You remember that? Do you, anybody remember that, that? To tell the truth, okay. All right, stand here, Kimberly, all right? Melissa, stand. I want you to start thinking of some things about Kimberly, all right? <laughs> Now, this is not a true thing because um, you, you're the audience. Uh, holiday. Okay. Now, today, on, on the, I'll give you a scenario of what we're supposed to do with this. All right. Well, to tell the truth, they had three contestants. Okay. And then you had the, the judges. And you talked about the person that was really is supposed to be about. All right. Mm -hmm. And they had three people. The real person was here. I won't see you. Okay. The real person. All right. And there were two fake people. All right. All right. Now, today, we're going to pretend. Today, we'll, today I want to tell you that we have a contestant, and her name is Kimberly Matthews, okay? And we have, all of these are Santa Kimberly Matthews, okay? Please, come on, tell me, what is your name today? Kimberly Matthews. And what's your name, contestant? Kimberly Matthews. And what is your name? Kimberly Matthews. <laughs> really? Um, Kimberly Matthews, tell us something about you. I am a first lady at Psalm 91 Ministries. Mm -hmm. right. Number two? I'm a mother of two. Mm. Number three? I'm a foodie. Mmm. <laughs> Kimberly, what are your children's names? Gabriella and Alana. What are your children's names? Gabriella and Alana. What's your children's name? Gabriella and Alana. Wow. Well, somebody got to be a fake up here, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Somebody's got to be a fake up here. All right. And this is what happened, okay? And the, the people are like, Wow, who's the real person? And it goes on and on and on. Then finally, at the end, they say, will the real Kimberly Matthews stand up? And there she is. <laughs> so thank, you. thank you so much. Okay. God bless you all. Hallelujah. God bless you. Okay, let's turn to Romans 1, 18, 25. Hallelujah. And this is um, something that has been, when I my children were younger, I had a hard time. The Lord told me to teach this particular scripture, all right? In Romans 1, 18, 25. And it says here, the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven yeah. against all ungodliness yeah. and the wickedness of people who suppress the truth. Suppress the truth. Suppress means to subdue it, to restrain it, to forcibly put it to an end. How many people come to you and say, you know, that's truth? And you say, no, it's not true. Uh -huh. yeah. No, I don't believe that. Uh -huh. okay, let's uh -huh. read on. Who suppress the truth? Truth by their wickedness. And since what may be known about God is plain to them. People know the truth. Uh -huh. Guess what? That's what the Bible says. They know, okay? okay? Because God has made it plain to them. Come on. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities... His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being stood from what has been made so that people are without an excuse. People are without an excuse. My God. Uh, they, they, you could make it up, whatever, but guess what God says here? You are clearly, you see it. You see it in his nature, okay? You see it in his goodness. You see it in his mercy. Yes. God has made it plain. No excuse. No excuse. What has made so that some people without excuse. For well, although they knew God, they knew God, uh -huh, uh -huh. they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him, but thinking because of futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools mm -hmm. and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like a mortal human being. Uh -huh. Birds, animals, Reptiles. Let me stop right there. How many of y'all have met people say they worship trees? Yeah. I have. 
How many say, I worship that worship animals? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yes. It's here, saints. Mm-hmm. But guess what? God's truth is marching on. God yes. says, guess yeah. what? I know. You know the right, the right way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Keep one down. Therefore, God gave them over to sinful desires of their heart, mm-hmm. to sexual impurity, uh-huh. for degrading their bodies with one another. We're here, saints. Over yeah. here. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And guess what? We see it all over TV. Yeah. We see it all in the stores. Yeah. Uh, we see it all over the streets. Okay. Yeah. And guess what? Bold. Yeah. Bold. But the Bible tells us to be bold as lying. To speak the truth. Okay. In love. To speak the truth. In love. In love. We must speak the truth. Yes. And don't hold it back. Yes. They exchange your truth about God for a what? A lie. Yes. And who's the father of lies? Mm-hmm. Come on. Who's the father of lies? Satan. Amen. Mm-hmm. And worship even created things rather than creator. Many of people are worshiping stones. I have a friend whose sister is into the stones. Mm-hmm. And they think the stones have power. They, have power, yes. mm-hmm. they think the stones have power. But guess what? You have Allah said you, you you worship creation more than the creator. Yeah. We give glory to God. Hallelujah. We give praise to God. Yeah. We give honor yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because we're worship. The almighty God. Yes, yes. Who is forever praised. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want to tell you this, okay? Um, we must use the right standard. We must use it. And you have to continue in the word. The only way that you'll know the right standard with God is using his word. Yes. You yes. must use the word of God. Uh-huh. You got to hang on it. Yes. You got to hear it. Yes. You got to be led by it. You have to memorize it. You have to quote it. Hallelujah. You have to refer to it. You have to utilize it. Yes. We must utilize and use the word of God to come back to truth. Yes. When Jesus was in, um, uh, when he, uh, he was up, thank you, Holy Spirit. He was up there on the mountain and he had, uh, fasted 40 days and 40 nights. What did he say? It is written. Yes. It is written. Yes. And Psalm 86 11 says, Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Psalm 119 30. I have chosen the way of truth that I may fear your name and I've set my heart on your laws. Truthful lips endure forever. That's what the Bible says. I'm going to give you a little story here. Two young guys, or three young guys, they decided to party all night. And they were supposed to study for their exam. So they decided, okay, wow, we're not ready. We're not ready for this exam. So they said, okay, let's go to our professor and tell them, our car broke down, all right? And we're not ready for your exam. So the professor said, okay, fine, I'll give you a couple days to study. So he said, oh, mm, yeah, we are right now, okay? So they studied for the exam. The next day, the professor came in, he gave the exam, but he told them, you go in this room, you go in that room, and you go in that room, all right? And so it was two questions on the exam. Wow. The one question was kind of easy. The second question was worth 99% of the test. Uh-oh. And he Uh-oh. said to them, and this, this test says, tell me, question is, what tire did you replace? Oh. What tie did you replace? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what truthful lips. Truthful lips. So guess what? They had not decided to tell the professor, okay, oh, we, we changed it. But he knew they had made a lie. Yeah. I love it when you tell the truth. I don't know about you. How many have ever lied before? You have to raise your hand. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't raise your hand, guess what? You lied today. <laughs> <laughs> you lied today. But I love the scripture says, by the truth. And sell it not. Wow. Buy the truth and sell it not. That never, never give the truth up, you all. Yes. Value the truth, hallelujah. Yes. Even if you're standing by yourself, value the truth, hallelujah. Sometimes you're going to stand by yourself, yes. hallelujah. Other people yes. are ostracizing. Yes. You must stand by yes. the truth. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Yes, hallelujah. And guess what? With that truth is wisdom. Yes. You know, when I think about truth, too, it's pure. You know, there's something about telling the truth, okay? You don't have to hide. That's right. You don't have to move away from it. That's you don't right. have to be nervous about it. You just say the truth. That's right. Okay? Hallelujah. I believe that many times, we as people of God, we don't tell the truth. 
we're afraid to tell the truth, especially behind this pulpit. You were a friend. But I remember one of my friends says, I know nobody's friend behind the pulpit. I'm going to speak the truth. I'm going to say the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be going with the truth. And don't back down because God is going to hold us. As Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. We must yeah. tell the truth, yeah. even when it hurts. Hallelujah. Jesus. Let's go to, I'm finish up a little bit here, but I got some other things here. Let's go to Genesis. All right. And here we have um, Adam and Eve. All right. How many know the story of Adam and Eve? If you don't, then you don't you're not reading your Bible. <laughs> you're not just not reading your Bible. Hallelujah. And my scriptures are all over the place there, but just bear with me. Okay. Okay, Genesis 3. And here we have the beginning. The Bible says here, verse 1. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Now mind you, let me stop there. All the trees in the garden, they, they could eat. It's free. It was just free, okay? God always gave abundance. But guess what? They decided not to listen to the Lord. So he said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat from the fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. You must not touch it. God gave specifics, okay? You cannot touch it. You cannot touch it. Or you will die. Separation. Thing is, sin separates us from God. Yeah. But truth brings us to Him. Yeah. Yeah. I say sin separates us from God. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But guess what? Truth. It just brings us to us. Okay. Yeah. And so here we got. She knew what she wasn't supposed to do, and the enemy start rotating the thoughts in her mind. Start rotating. How many times that God present truth to us and sometimes say, I don't know. And you rotate. He's just talking to you. He's just talking to you. And you start listening. The Bible says, take heed to how you hear. Take heed to how you hear. And guess what? She didn't take heed to how she heard. She Uh did. Uh Said, don't remember that. You certainly won't die. He twisted the word up. Mm -hmm. That's what the devil's doing today. And it's not. No truth. They're just twisting all things up and making it true. Uh And it's a lie. Let God arise. Everybody said, I want to say today, truth is going to cost you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's going to cost you, okay? Yeah. It's yeah. going to really cost you. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. It says here in my notes here, it says that, um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Truth has an enemy. Mm. And that enemy is the father of lies, okay? Uh-huh. The devil. Truth will set you free. Standing with God, it is going to cost you. Yeah. John the Baptist stood for truth. What happened to him? His head, head got cut off. Mm. His head got cut off. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den uh-huh. for the truth. Mm. He said, I won't bow down. I won't bow down. Even the law of that earth, that time. Everybody said, you know what? You got to bow down. But guess what? He said, I will not bow down. Yeah. Right. And he yeah. was thrown into the yeah. lion's den. Yeah. It's going to cost you. You're going to lose friends over the truth. Even the church. Hallelujah. You're going to lose some friends for the truth. For the truth. Peter. Poor Peter. Liar. But guess what? He turned around. Jesus said to him, Peter, guess what? About this, on this church, I'm going to build my church. Okay. I'm going to be a rock. A rock. A rock. But guess what? Peter was crucified. And so was Philip. John the Baptist stood up for the truth too. He was old and old, but it didn't work, okay? He just died a natural death. How many times have you gone through a situation where people have ostracized you because you have told the truth? Amen. You have told the truth. Yes, Lord. James beheaded. All these people told the truth, okay? For the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I read this book, um, it's a Martyrs for Christ. Mm-hmm. And in this book talks about all the people who died with truth. And one of the main things in this Bible, up in this book was they had young children and their mothers and fathers and everything. And they said, you know what? If you don't deny Jesus, we're going to run your children over 
you know those things that they that they pay the uh, the, the, cheap, road. the roads with, okay? And what happened was is that they said we're not going to deny Jesus, and they began to run this over their children. For truth, for truth. You know, and we in America, guess what? We we got we got so easy. We got so easy. You can carry your Bible any place you want to carry it, okay? You can preach most of the time any place. But guess what? These children, the parents allowed them to die for truth. And guess what? After they died, they thought the accuser would say, well, are you going to deny Christ? No. And then they end up dying too. You know, again, there are things that we're going to die for the truth, saints, okay? We're going to die for the truth. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. I said, glory, 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 glory. His truth is marching on. Hallelujah. May we stand for the truth, you all. May we stand for truth. God wants us to stand for God's truth. You know, it's not our intellect. It's not our emotions. It's not our morals. That standard must be absolute. And that absolute standard. Is Jesus Christ and He alone. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but His word will stand forever. Yes, yes. it will. Yes. I want you to again. My title, my message is: I you to say, Jesus is your truth. Amen. Is Jesus? We need to evaluate the way ourselves. God tells us that He desires truth on the inward part. I love it when the Holy Spirit comes and convicts of my yes, sins. Yes. I love it when He comes because guess what? It's gonna lead you. It's gonna guide you. It's yes, gonna take you in all Jesus. truth. Hallelujah! Thank God. Thank I'm you. Finished here, but I want to invite anybody my God. who don't know Jesus as your personal yes. Savior. Yes. We're gonna stand up for the truth today. Yes, he Lord. said, "I'm the way, the truth, truth and the life." Yes. Anybody yes. else come any other way? He's a thief. And a robber. That's what the Bible says. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, Father, we reach out today for someone out there don't know Jesus. Yes. You just don't know Jesus. You're lost. We all were lost at one time. Yes, but Lord. Jesus said, I've come to save and to seek them that are lost. Yes, Lord. May we stand for the truth, God. May we be bold. Bold as lions, oh yes. God. Hallelujah. Yes. May we stand, oh God, with everybody else fall aside, maybe. Yes, but may we open our mouths wide. And call yes, forth yes, the truth yes, that yes, sets yes, us free. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, God, today, Holy, that we've been Thank set you. free. Yes. We've been set free by your blood. Yes. By your blood. Yes. I thank you, God, today thank for you, the God. truth that makes us free. Yes, Lord. I thank you, God, that we're living in the truth. And that is you. My Lord. I thank you, God. Thank you, Father, we pray, oh God, for that sinner or that person is bound by alcohol. Sex demons. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Their minds are, are not out of control. But I thank you, God, because you said, I come to seek and to save that which is lost. You came to heal. You came to deliver. You came to set free. You can be set free today by the power of Jesus Christ. Yes, I thank you, God, today for your word. I pray today, oh God, that everyone that's going to evaluate yourself. Are you walking in truth? Yeah. Are you walking by God's word? Are you listening to God's word? Lord, even as you said, now word have my head and my heart that I send not against you. You know, in Proverbs 3 and 3, it says, my son, take heed to my word. Wrap it around your neck. Wrap the truth around your neck. Put it in front of your eyes. Put it in your heart. Girl it around your your waist. The the Bible says, girl yourself with the truth of God. I thank you today, God. Because we want to live in truth, abide in truth. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord. You're the absolute truth. Yes. So we thank you and we praise thank you. you Jesus. We praise you, God. Thank to you. all glory and honor and praise and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Amen. 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 is marching on. Yes. Yes. Thank you, woman of God. Let us just pray. Yes. Father, we pray that you would just restore her. Jesus. Everything that she poured out, Lord God. Yes. Restore it back to her, Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name. That we could represent a standard, God. Yes, God. Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Now, maybe you don't know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sins. You say, I want to know him. Listen, if you're in the building, you can make your way up here. If you're watching me at a lot, you can just say this with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I confess that I'm a sinner. I'm in need of a savior. Lord, cleanse me. Make me new. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. But I believe that you rose with all power in your hands. And I want you to lead me and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, if maybe you're in need of prayer or the sickness, you can just type in, if you're watching via the live, you can type in the word chat. Up there. You can type in the chat um, prayer. Um, and uh, one of our leaders will reach out to you. If you're if you're looking to join a uh, be a part of this this branch of Zion, you can type in the chat join. Um, hallelujah, glory to God. We give you praise. If you're looking to join and you're here, uh, we can we can chat right after service. I don't want to make a show of that. Hallelujah, glory to God. We give you praise for an honor. Um, let us. Uh, <clears throat> Stand for the benediction. Amen. Elder, is it okay if I just do the benediction? Hallelujah. Praise God. And it's before 10 o'clock. Amen. 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 Listen, we want to also, just before we close out, we also want to encourage folks to come on out. You know, those that watch Be the Live, come on out. You know, join us. Um, you know, we, we want to see you. We want to see you. Um, and so uh, Jude chapter, Jude verse 24 through 25 says simply, now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To God our Savior who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Happy Sunday. Amen.